make this an even more realistic example, I've gone ahead and added the Derby database jars into our application to show you what this would look like to tie to a real database. Derby, if you're not familiar with it, is a very lightweight database that you can use for in-memory applications, and a lot of time it's utilized for testing, and I've even used it in a few production settings as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is register a driver, and rather than have you watch me type all of this in, I'm going to just paste in these snippets, and I've replaced our constructor with this code that goes through and creates an instance of the driver manager, and this will go through and register our database driver using that driver manager and check to see if our connection is not equal to null for reflection like we had done in the previous demo. So you'll notice this connection statement is airing out. We're going to take and create an instance of that connection in here. Let me grab that snippet. And we'll copy this and paste it in there. We're going to do the same thing as we had done before by creating a volatile instance of this. And let me import connection. And then the next thing that we need to do is create our get connection method inside of here. And this looks very similar to what we did with our get instance, but there is one key difference here. Our get connection is not static, and this is by design. And we could set this up one of a couple of ways, but I chose to do it this way because it's very similar to how we would do this in production applications. I've gone ahead and made this to where we have to have an instance of our singleton and then use that instance to get our connection. And so we are going to utilize the singleton to call an instance of this class first and then get the connection and return that. To test this, let's switch over to our DB singleton demo. And inside of here, we're going to clean this up a little bit. We've got our code left over from the previous demo. Let's go ahead and cut all of this out except for that DB singleton.get instance. And we'll start by just grabbing a connection. And you'll see I've got some other code here. We're actually going to run that in a second. And grab that connection. And then we can go through and utilize that instance. So what we have here is us getting an instance of our singleton and then us grabbing that connection. Then let's grab our statement, and I have a statement already built down here, and we'll execute this code inside of our demo instance as well. And this code goes through and creates an instance of a table using a prepared statement to do so and handles the exceptions. I'm going to import all of those here. And we have a complete working example. So let's run this how it is. Then we're going to add some performance metrics to this. So let's right click and say run as Java application. You'll see that it goes through and it says that we've created our table. It just dumps out that system.outprintlin on line 20 and prints out table created. That's great. Let's do some more sophisticated things with this code though. So I'm going to switch back over here to my notes and I've got some longs that we're using to grab the time before and the time after, and we're going to time our connection creation gap to see how long it takes us to create this, and then we'll call it again when we're done with this and see how quickly it will create that connection for us. So I'm going to grab that chunk of code and replace this connection here with that, and you'll see that we're just grabbing the time before and the time after using a system.get current time millis. We're going to print that difference out. But before we execute that, let's do that same thing after. So I'm going to go down here and grab another time before and another time after and print that out once again. You'll see here that it will execute and require very little to no time to run that instance.get connection again. So let's save this. And now when we run this, You'll notice that the first time it runs, it took 503 milliseconds to create it. It says that our table is created. And the next time that it runs, it's been optimized to where it took zero milliseconds because it is returning us that connection that we already have created. So we have our singleton of our instance and then our connections inside of that singleton that's returning that in zero milliseconds. So it's optimized that code to where we only have one connection that we're sharing across this. The creation of that connection has been optimized to where it returns in zero milliseconds. It's just returning us back the connection we have. You can see some real performance benefits for us doing our singleton this way.